Hey guys, Constance here from Cosmopolitan Cornbread. So today is going to be just a super quick video. The other day I actually had a friend come over and I asked her to be a model for me and assist me in demonstrating how to make modifications to the farmhouse apron pattern that I posted uh, a couple weeks ago. I did a video where I took you through how I make my aprons. You don't have to have a pattern. You just have to measure out some rectangles and sew it together and you can have your own very durable, very easy and rustic uh, apron. Now that apron is very much a one size fit all kind of size except if you are extra fluffy or if you are wanting to make an apron for a child you can make modifications to it and so i'm going to take you through and explain how to um, make those modifications to fit a person that's pretty much any size and so hopefully this will answer uh, a bunch of the questions that i have received about how to make this apron. If you missed it, I will put a link up here in the corner for that original video. And just one last thing, tomorrow, I'm super excited, my kitchen is finished. All of these projects, all of these things that I have been ever so slowly working on, yesterday was the final touch and yesterday it was completed and so today I filmed a farmhouse kitchen tour and so you will be able to see that tomorrow and so without further ado here is the part two of the farmhouse apron. Hey guys Constance here from Cosmopolitan Cornbread so I have a guest with me today this is my sweet friend Amanda those of you who have been around for a little bit know that I moved here from Alaska and I've mentioned a few times a friend who also moved here from Alaska and lives right down the road practically, and this is her. And I know that her daughter and her grandbabies watch this channel, so I thought, you know, <laughs> why don't I invite her, since she's over for dinner tonight, the guys are outside grilling, mm -hmm. um, invite her to be in the video and so her family can see her. Hi. And she can do me a favor and model the apron. So a couple weeks ago I did a tutorial video and I explained how to make my farmhouse apron. And let me kind of give you the the view. So because I've had some people go, I have, can't see the whole thing. There we go. Okay, so modifications. That's the whole and part of the dogs being maniacs. <laughs> it's real life here, folks. So I've had a lot of questions about how people can modify this for a larger or smaller person, like for a child. A lot of people want to make them for their kids, which just like makes me so happy. So here is, I want to, I just want to kind of give you some very simple basics and I've got my measuring ribbon. And so what you would do if you are making one of these from scratch, if you go back and watch the other video, I will link that down below or up there in a card. And I talked about how you can modify the straps to make it higher or lower depending upon where you want them. But you also can modify the whole apron size because this is basically just a bunch of rectangles that you are sewing together. It's super easy. So as far as the straps go, I talked about how in the front, and this can alter the height of the front of your apron too. So like if you don't want it up as high as it is here, if you want it further down, you can um, use this method to do it. So you would take your measuring ribbon and place it basically where you would want it, the front or the top of the apron in the front. And then I'll have you turn around this way. And this is the thing that you would need a little bit of help with. Have, bring this down and then cross over like her spine is right here and like here's her, her shoulder blade. Come down, you can see right about where it crosses. Measure that distance where the top of the apron in the front would be to the top of the apron in the back. Take that measurement and then add two inches. Those extra two inches will be the amount that you need to sew in there and then that'll give you the length of your straps. And you turn it around this way. <laughs> All the way around? All the way around. <laughs> okay. And then, now another thing you can do is 
Again, you can measure from the top to the bottom. As far as how long you want this apron to be, you can make it shorter or longer. What I would do if you want to modify the length of the apron is take your measuring ribbon, hold it where you want it, and then go down to the bottom and then get that, get that length again and add two inches. And those two inches again are going to be your hem. And then the same thing for the width. Now if you are a fluffier person or you are a smaller person, you might need a little bit wider or narrower fabric. Um, if you are plus size, you might need to get the um, 60 inch width fabric. I have actually made a few aprons like that in the past for the fluffier gals. And so that is just a way of um, making this apron more suited for you. You can do the same thing for kids. Now as far as if you're measuring the width, what I would do is measure the thickest part of you, which is generally the bust for the ladies, mm -hmm. measure all the way around and make that the width of your apron. If you're, if you're not sure that this size would fit you, then that's a great way to modify it to fit you. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so that should do it. Um, and that kind of method, it's like I said, super easy. This is just a bunch of rectangles. Very easy to modify. You can also put the pockets in different locations if you want. If you feel that these pockets are too high or you're not sure if that's where you would want them to be, what you can do is sew the straps on first, put the apron on, then put, feel like put it on, put your hands down where you feel they would be the most comfortable. Mark it with a pin and make that the spot where you put the, the pockets. So I, I hope that helps. Um, and again, that would work for a, any person, larger or smaller, to give you a better idea of what size fabric pieces you would need to cut. So <laughs> that's it. Thank you, Amanda, for joining me today. Anytime. And uh, we're going to get back to cooking our potatoes and making smashed potatoes to go with the steaks. Thank you. And join the guys. So <laughs> talk to y'all next time, you guys.